this week we're going to be reading The Mitten. This version is adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. What winter animals do you see on the cover here? This is published by G.P. Putnam and Sons. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens to be made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. What color mittens would you want? After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. How many animals do you think are going to fit inside of this mitten? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Talons are claws. Can you make talons with your fingers? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Do you think he'll fit in the thumb of a mitten? It started snowing, but the animals were snug inside the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate it. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal could argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. 
at all of these animals inside the mitten. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Oh, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see that he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his mittens. She looks a little confused. <laughs> One mitten is quite a bit bigger than the other. It got a little stretched out. Do you think that having white mittens was a good idea when they blend in with the snow so well? You can join us for our song of the week and our rhyme of the week on our YouTube page. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for our next story. Have a great day.